Well, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough to be doing it to, with, or upon, I'm Bushcron Blitz, back for another dose of tanking joy and uh, a luxurious afternoon of rolling. Uh, we're going to be having a look today at a quick little bit of a, uh, a camo map here and reading a map, but more importantly, we're going to have a refresher course on Circle of Deathing TDs in a medium tank, or indeed in any tank that's got enough traverse to do it in. Now... As always, if you're not a patron, uh, don't stress, I'm going to keep doing videos, but there are a whole cubic buttload of humans who are now supporting the channel via sponsorship, and it's allowing me to basically do these videos constantly, keep you guys updated, and enjoying a stream of, uh, well, a bit of an idiot talking on tanks, that's me. Uh, the link is there if you want to have a look at it, and please do, it would be very, very nice indeed to have you along in the community. This is the 140, and I am basically just spotting up for the team here, having a look around, not seeing anyone. I've looked at their team. They've got two 183s, a, uh, a very nice-looking object, 268, and a Yag Tiger. So they've got four TDs, two heavies, and big heavies too. There's an IS-7 in there, which I don't want to be dealing with. So what I'm going to do is, obviously, there's none spotted. Um, I'm not going to go down the tram tracks in a soft little tank like the Object 140. I'm, in fact, going to go to the far right flank, find a bush, use my camo, and see if I can't actually get some shots in on what I suspect to be a strong contingent of campers at the back. Now, I would hazard a guess that they're up around there. What I'm doing there is I'm firing, uh, and look at that. There was, in fact, a target there. Uh, I was just a little bit low. Track him. I was firing there not just to uh, take speculative shots at the target, I was actually firing to see if I popped on radar for the Reds, and that would tell me where the enemy TDs were, in fact. And you can see there now, marching down here, the big dinosaurs rolling on down the hill, loving life, living large. The Yag Tiger, indeed, has taken a bit between the teeth, and he is pushing hard into the flank. So, a really, really solid move there by, uh, by the green team, or by me, by me. Um, because what I've done is I've turned three of their big guns and I've relieved the pressure on the guys on the right flank because they've now got none of those guns to worry about. They would have been at the back just sniping away. And it's not fun to go forward when there is that much alpha uh, dealing that much damage. And look at this. It's like <laughs> I've got them all in a room. I've got all their attention. And now I just want to talk to them about Amway. Uh, I'm going to try and sell them some stuff. They've got, they're that focused. They're tunneling so hard. Um, and it's not their fault. I, I, I want to get that out of the way. These guys aren't doing anything particularly wrong. Uh, we put them in a really tough spot by flanking. Anytime they fire a shot, uh, they're going to be close enough to pop up on the radar. If I'm looking here from this bush, and they would have just got all lit up in flank shots anyway. And, and my good mate Josh 8, he's rolling up and he's done the business well and truly into the sides of them. So that's a, a good little lesson there in flank fighting. If you see a team that's got a whole whole heap of TDs in it. The odds are that a lot of them are going to be fighting from the back of the map. And fighting from the back of the map is completely fine if you've got targets in front of you. Uh, but as you can see there, we had a really great time um, hitting that flank, smacking the flank, and drawing a whole lot of attention, which allowed our team to basically push down the other side, and we end up winning it. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about TDs, and how you circle of death a TD in a medium, light, heavy, anything that's got enough traverse to get around them. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the things you should be doing every time. Now, this is simple stuff. It's pretty straightforward stuff. But it's the kind of thing that I think bears repeating because when you've done as many videos on the channel as I have, and I think we're up to about 250, 260 videos on here, it's a massive amount. Over time, we've just built up this big library of stuff. Um, it can get lost and people who are new to the channel miss this stuff sometimes and this is a bit of a refresher course and it won't take long basically there's a lot of ways to smack a td while you're in a med there is the the good old just headbutt stuff where you roll up as fast as you can smack them in the side 
hit them with your gun, set them on fire, do all that kind of stuff. And then there's the COD, the circle of death. Now the circle of death is exactly that, a circle of death. To a non-turreted TD, it's a horror show because they have great guns that point out the front of their tanks, but they can't do anything else apart from shoot things that are in front of them. So if you can constantly remain behind them, then you are a winner winner chicken dinner. So that's what we're gonna be looking at here. And this is the Type 34 85 Victory. It is not a particularly fantastic tank in, in terms of mobility. It's good, but it's not amazing. Now, the first thing you wanna be doing whenever you're going in for a COD is you wanna shoot the track, the drive wheel at the front of the tank. And you can see there, that stops that AT from moving around. And it allows us to go where you always wanna be when you're circle of deathing a TD to the back. Now, I'm a little bit tardy in getting there, but that's fine. I should have gone a little bit earlier. And you're gonna see me just edge him here. Now, this is called squaring off. I'm gonna put myself on the back of his tank and turn around him. Now, if I was to keep doing this in an open space, it would in fact slow his traverse down so much that he wouldn't be able to get anywhere. Now, the, the key thing here is the pointy end. You always want to be at the opposite side of the gun. It's really, really simple. Remember that whenever you're rolling and you're trying to COD, get on the opposite side of the gun. And he understands that he's in, in strife and is rolling away. If you let them back into a wall, as he was attempting to do there, then they can start turning off the wall. You can't get behind them and they're going to get shots into you. And when that is a big tank like a Jagdpanzer E100, that's going to be a shot that could actually kill you. So you want to make sure you get very good at tracking them on the way in and then getting behind them. And if you can do those two things, you'll be a lot better for it. Now, there's a T25AT over there. Um, there's a Type 62 Dragon here that I'm driving, and it's very, very quick. And you're going to see, try and get his, the edge of him. Didn't really get it. And then all we're doing is staying away from that gun. Now there is a tank at the end of the row there, and he is the tank that I'm worried about. I'm trying to stay out of line of sight of him, which is why I'm not connected at all times to the back of that Type 25, T25 AT. But you can see that it was a really simple principle there. Just stay behind that tank destroyer. There's gonna be opportunities to DD tanks, to COD tanks all the time. And it's one of the most fun things to do in the game. One of the most frustrating and aggravating things if you're the poor bugger in the tank destroyer. Because it's not fun not being able to shoot back. But the smart thing for a TD to do is to have support around them at all times so that they can't actually just be COD'd. Because when you're doing that and you're going around behind the tank to stay away from his gun, if there's other tanks around, then they'll shoot me. He's going to see what I do here with this Object 268 is I realize that there's tanks around him. So I just keep driving. I've put three shots into him. I've circle of death. I've gone around the back, turned him so everyone else can shoot him. And that's it. Now I'm shooting his mate. I took one shot in return. We got rid of an Object 268 that was holding the flank. And we smashed an E75 as well. All good. Now that's how you COD. To finish off the day's festivities, joy, love, uh, adoration, uh, hopefully reciprocated from you guys, <laughs> this is the Leopard PTA. This is just a game I had earlier on. It's a really fun little game and it, it really goes to, uh, and to speaks directly to the idea of tactical camping and tactical sniping. And you can see I'm spotting up as much as I can there. I've got a shot on the Object 704. Had a shot on him for ages. I didn't take it because I was hoping that I would spot some other tanks before I blew my camouflage, but I didn't. So I took the shot in the end, reset my camo and go back out behind the tree and look for more. And there is in fact a waffle tractor. And I smacked the waffle tractor. I understand by the way, people, that its name is actually Waffle Traeger, but I like waffle tractor a lot more. So sue me. Uh, I've now looked at the enemy team. They've got three TDs. They can all wreck me because I'm in a very lightly armored tank. And this VK is pushed far too aggressively there. Um, there's gonna be a lot of people camping. I'm pretty keen to get moving because this thing's made out of tissue paper. Uh, we all know the PTA doesn't have a whole lot of armor going on. And anytime you get a bounce, it's more you know, good luck and good intentions. And you're gonna see me weaving all over the place here because that IS-6 snuck up on us. Uh, he's, he's gone right down there. Now what I'm doing here, 
You may have seen me do this in the Object 140 video. It's boring. It's old. Old hat. It's been done. But it's exceptionally effective. And I'm going to push all the way back here. I'm going to push this palm tree down in front of me. So I've got some cover. Just in case someone does push up on me. Drop the adrenaline. And just start pumping this IS-6. And the reason um, I went to heat there was just because I... I don't like the look of this radar, this map. We've got two guys on the left, and we've got four red tanks that have pushed up and are aggressively moving forward. Um, and I'm really, really worried that we're going to be a lot of tanks down very, very quickly. Uh, as such, I am trying to get something done with this E75 and that I-6. So we're now at the back, and you can see with the lovely stuff, how good is the, is the range indicator now? I mean, I can see at 280 meters, there's no way that guy's going to be carrying optics. He can't see me. So I'm safe as houses. I can just pump. And that IS-6 there is doing a great job. I mean, they all are. These guys, although they're dying, I knew that area was going to get hit really hard. The, the Leopard PTA is just too soft. You can't be there when the hammer falls or you'll get absolutely wrecked. So I've used their hit points. Fair enough. But that's what a heavy tank's for. It's a meat sponge. Uh, and we've used it really, really effectively. Look at this, we've had an absolute field day. It was a really good move to make, and um, I mean, you get it wrong sometimes in the PTA. There you go, lovely little blind shot on the waffle tractor. Uh, and now just the IS-6, and there's an Object 704 out there on the right flank as well. Um, he was on the radar not so long ago, so I, I noticed that. I was looking at my radar, as always. Um, and the 704 is out on the right flank. And we get a congratulatory uh, Panther Great from the, the Jag Panther 2. And now we're going to smack out and be quite arsy there. We're going to tell them good game because we're pretty confident we're going to nut this Object 704. There he is. And that's a six kill. A pool's medal. Um, and, you know, just in illustration, just a little one to finish with of what can be done when you drive something like the PTA and you move it about the joint and actually reset because it is a sniper tank i mean that's what the gun's all about that's what speed is all about um the ability to relocate and put damage in so we reset our camo uh there and moved out and did exactly what we were really doing with the object 140 we used um other people spotting tanks to put damage in so thanks very much for listening boys and girls if you haven't considered becoming a sponsor already the link will be on the screen please do uh, there's lots and lots of content there's a huge community now that we've built up with patreon there's like 150, 160 people. Uh, there's patron-only stuff. I'm posting a vid tomorrow that will be patron-only, actually. Um, and lots of lots of stuff there. Don't forget to go to www.bushkaonblitz.com. There is a game improvement section there where I've grouped together all the videos about things like brawling and, uh, and tank destroyers and big damage and all this kind of stuff under game improvement. So www.bushkaonblitz.com. Uh, make your life easier. Have a great weekend, team. Look after your families and stay safe on the battlefield.